Good afternoon, everyone. It's Robert from My Turntable. Hope you're having a great afternoon. It is Monday afternoon. Finally getting a chance to do some videos after a long weekend of working. Um, by the time you get home after uh, a long day, you just sometimes you just don't have it in you to do videos. So I took a couple of days off from that because I get my work schedule. Uh, and I wasn't going to do one this afternoon, but said, no, I have to. Um, just uh, so you guys uh, don't forget about me or think that I've uh, uh, ignored you guys, which I have not. It's just, again, work gets in the way. But um, I want to continue my my A to Z uh, and the letter A, and I will continue that, uh, just not today. I'm going to take a bit of a sidetrack and show you some stuff I picked up on Friday and over the weekend because I've had some deliveries over the weekend as well. Um, some new bands to me, um, and, uh, a couple of original artists that I, that I've picked up, uh, some great live stuff from. So I'm going to share that with you today and, uh, hope you enjoy. Um, I watch, uh, Sea of Tranquility by a bit, uh, by Pete Pardo. He's an amazing, amazing, uh, um, knowledgeable guy. And he always talks about these great bands and, I've learned so much from him and I've learned about the, all these great bands from him as well. And, uh, he was talking about this band here. Uh, it's called Eloy. This happened to be this album, uh, the album colors. And I said, who is Eloy? Uh, it's a German band, um, formed in 1969. So they've been around for a long time from Hanover, Germany, uh, combination, progressive rock, space rock, psychedelic rock. Um, and uh, the way he was talking about them, I just had to um, discover what these guys were about. So I ordered a couple of CDs. Uh, I ordered, again, um, their 10th, sorry, their 8th studio album, Colors. Really good stuff. Um, and uh, you've got Horizons, Illuminations, Giant. Impressions, Child Migration, Gallery, Silhouette, Sunset, and there's a couple of bonus tracks on here. Wings of Vision and Silhouette, uh, which is a single edit. Um, but yeah, these guys are are really, really good. And I've never heard of them before. That's just amazing that I haven't heard of these guys. Uh, there they are there. And uh, it's really good. It's melodic, um, definitely progressive. Uh, I don't know who I compare these guys to. Um, yes, and Super Tramp and Gentle Giant all mixed together. I don't know. It's hard to just to describe these guys. Uh, the um, lead singer definitely has a uh, not a thick, thick German accent, but a fairly thick German accent, uh, which I'm not complaining about at all. Um, but um, it is uh, Frank uh, uh, Barnman. Uh, who's lead vocals, electric, and acoustic guitars. Uh, Klaus Peter Mazio on bass guitars and vocals. Hans um, Arcona on electric and acoustic guitars. Great guitarist, by the way. Um, Hans Fulberth on keyboards. And Jim McGilvery on drums. The least sounding German name in the bunch. But yeah, uh, really, really nice album. So that's Colors. Uh, the eighth studio album by the band. And I've got to find more. I definitely have to find more um, from these guys. And I also found um, uh, 1984's Metro Mania, which is their 12th studio album. Um, a little more synth on this one than um, the other album colors. And uh, some of the fans didn't appreciate that too much so they didn't uh they didn't support this album too much but i really like it i really really like it um and uh, i'm gonna just continue to discover uh this band and uh i, I dig their music so far uh this one's got escape to the heights seeds of creation all life is one the stranger follow the light night raiders and and the title track uh, metromania uh, which is a six minute and seven second song uh, there's the track list there. So uh, really nice music. Um, and I uh, was blown away by that. So thank you, Pete, for introducing 
me to this uh, amazing band, um, Eloy. Really good stuff. Um, this was a nice find. Uh, just picked this one up yesterday. Haven't I just cracked the seal before the video? Again, with work going on, I haven't even had a chance to listen to it physically. I have listened to it um, over the internet, uh, obviously. Uh, but this is a live from AstroTurf, uh, the Alice Cooper band, a reunion album, basically, with the original Alice Cooper band. And uh, I kept the hype sticker there. Uh, I wasn't quite sure where to put it, but this is a 2015 reunion show with award-winning documentary of an event on DVD, which is inside the album here. And it's also on apricot colored vinyl, which is beautiful. It's also a limited edition. This is uh, um, 5,793 out of 9,000. Uh, but uh, yeah, the original members, except for one uh, who had passed away. Uh, so you've got, um, you've got Michael Bruce, on guitars, backing vocals, lead vocals on Cotton Dream. Alice Cooper, lead vocals. And he says in the, uh, when I watched a couple of videos, said, no makeup on this one, guys. It's just me up front uh, singing away. Uh, Dennis Dunaway on bass and backing vocals. And uh, Neil Smith on drums. Um, and uh, yeah, it's really, really good. Also has uh, Ryan Roxy on guitars and backing vocals. And a Chuck Garrick on harmonica on Schools Out. Um, and in loving memory of uh, Glenn Buxton, who passed away in 1997. So um, really, really good stuff. This uh, has some of their best songs as well. Uh, you've got Caught in a Dream, uh, Be My Lover, I'm 18, Is It My Body, No More Mr. Nice Guy, Under My Wheels, Schools Out, uh, Elected and Desperado, which is a, a sound check. But um, there's the beautiful colored vinyl. Um, I've got this here. And uh, it's also got a nice pamphlet with it. And it's cool that uh, it's not the shock rock or glam rock type of Alice. It's just straight ahead rock. There they are there. Sounds really good. And uh, released in, um, in uh, 2018. Uh, but uh, the store just had it today. And I think the DVD's in here as well. There it is. Yeah, there's the DVD. So I'll be watching that one a little later. Uh, probably over the weekend. But yeah, really happy to have this one in my Alice Cooper collection. Uh, as well as just my own collection. And um, sounds great. These guys can still rock it out. It's cool. Just it's good to see them back again. And uh, yeah, there you go. Cool stuff. Um, this next band, um, you know, I always promote Canadiana, and um, I found three albums by the great Canadian band, The Grapes of Wrath, a great alternative band. Uh, this is, um, they were from uh, British Columbia. Um, again, alternative rock. Um, but they're they're also very melodic as well. Great harmonies, great guitar work. Uh, this is their second album, uh, September, uh, September Bowl of Green. And uh, you've got uh, Ken Kane on vocals, guitar, and piano. Chris uh, Hooper on drums. Tom Hooper on bass. Um, Maramba vocals and lead vocals on and I know so uh, just a trio going on it's on uh, network label uh, really great shape I'm so happy to find this one 
And uh, what year was that one? 1985 release on that one there. And uh, really, it sounds really good, these guys. Um, and then I found 1987's Treehouse by the Grapes of Wrath. Again, awesome shape. Got the original uh, inner sleeve. This one's on the capital label, the black capital label. Uh, Treehouse of 1987 released the second full length album by the band. So the first one was the first full length album as their debut was kind of an EP. Um, I don't have that one. I didn't find that one, but I'll definitely look for it. Um, these guys are just great. Not heavy alternative music either. It's just great straight ahead music. Um, and then uh, the third one I found from these guys is Now and Again, uh, 1989 release. They're a, a quartet this time. Uh, again, a uh, nice looking album. Uh, fantastic shape, no ring wear whatsoever. This was on the Purple Capital label. Purple, Purple, did I say Purple? Purple Capital label. Uh, this one was ranked number 27 of the best Canadian albums of all time in 2000. So it's no slouch of an album. Um, it's also the most commercially successful, uh, all the things I wasn't, uh, what was going through my head. Do you want to tell me the most I'm gone blind stay? I can tell, uh, not the way it is hiding. The time is here, uh, but I guess we'll never know. And uh, there's the band there. So yeah, great Canadian alternative music and, uh, Again, I always try and promote my Canadiana on this channel. Um, also happy to find this next one. Again, a Canadian-American band. One of my favorites. Uh, this is uh, Steppenwolf II. The, the second studio album by Steppenwolf. This thing's in fantastic shape. I've been pretty lucky lately finding great, great albums. Uh, this one's got a big, big hit. Uh, you got uh, Faster Than the Speed of Life, uh, Tighten Up Your Wig, um, none, uh, none of Your Doing, Spiritual Fantasy, Don't, don't Step on the Grass, Sam, um, 28. It's got the big, big hit, Magic Carpet, right on it. A disappointment Number, Unknown, uh, Lost and Found by Trial and Error, Hodgepodge, Strain Through a Leslie, uh, Resurrection and Reflections. It's on the uh, MCA label. Okay, again, on a great, great album. 1969 release to add to my Steppenwolf collection. And uh, again, unfortunately, a, a, little, <clears throat> a little hole in the cover, but uh, there's no ring wear on this one. There's nothing like that at all. So I'll put that one back. Uh, this next one, again, another great, great find. Uh, this is uh, uh, indelibly stamped by Supertramp. Okay, this is their second studio album. They hadn't quite hit the strides yet as far as uh, their progressive sound. Uh, this is on the A&M label. Um, so it's quite a different sounding album. Uh, it's a bit more uh, straight ahead rock, but um, still dig it, still like it. Um, and uh, yeah, Your Papa Don't Mind, uh, Traveled, um, Rosie Had Everything Planned, Remember, Forever, uh, Potter, Coming Home to See You, Times Have Changed, uh, Friend in Need, and Aries. Um, Rick Davies, of course, Roger Hodson, Frank Perel is on bass guitar, um, Kevin Curry on percussions, David Winthrop 
on flutes and saxophones. A uh, bit of a different lineup, but uh, really, again, really, really great shape. Uh, no ring wear. And uh, yeah, happy to find this one for sure. And uh, again, as I said earlier, kind of bookends about some great finds here. So this last one was a, a fantastic um, find that I ordered actually. Um, this is again still out of the sh still in the shrink. I haven't opened it up uh, as far as uh, taking the shrink off, but uh, this is CCR at the Royal Albert Hall, the legendary concert captured in 1970, but never released until now. Um, this is fantastic. These are these guys are such a live, a great live band. It's on that fan. Um, fantasy label the blue fantasy label there is uh, also a um, a sleeve in here showing the guys um so you got of course uh doug clifford on drums Stu cook on bass and backing vocals john fogarty on lead guitar lead vocals and harmony and tom fogarty on rhythm and, and uh, backing vocals the set list is born in the bayou green river Tombstone Shadow, Traveling Band, Fortunate Son, Commotion, Midnight Special, Bad Moon Rising, Proud Mary, The Night is the the Night Time is the Right Time, Good Golly Miss Molly, and Keep On Chuglin'. Um, yeah, amazing stuff. These guys are fantastic in concert. Um, and uh, John Fogarty is just a beast when it comes to playing. Um, he really, it really highlights his playing. So I'm really happy to find this one. I don't think there's anything else in there, maybe. No, there's nothing else in there. But uh, I kept the shrink on for now. I'll be, I'll be keeping the hype sticker as well. But uh, yeah, some fantastic, fantastic stuff. So there you have it, guys. Some great, fine, fantastic albums to enjoy. Uh, as my collection changes and evolves and uh, really really pleased with what I picked up so anyway guys have yourself a great rest of the day talk to you again soon we'll love you all bye now